Okay, so I'm going to show you how to mix um, the paint with water so we can do our flow painting. We're going to start with our turquoise. I'm going to use both of these um, just because I made both of them. <laughs> And so you're just going to scoop up some of the paint that and then I'm going to scoop some of this into the water and I probably put too much water in that. You want these to be not like, this is like watercolor, you don't want it like that. You want it, um, you want it thick enough to pour. Um, but you want it thin enough so it flows. Does that <laughs> so you kind of want it the consistency of like a little bit thinner than like craft paint. Like what I have right here is way too thin. This is not going to work out with how thin I have this. Um, so you need way less water than that. So I'll just keep adding paint in there until I get the right consistency. Um, and when you do this, you really want to do it um, with your canvas propped up onto something. I'm not going to worry about that because I really don't care about my table. Um, and it also can affect how the paint flows if you move it around a lot. So you really want to have it propped up on something. You can use some little shot glasses or those little mini Dixie cups. I don't have those, so I'm not gonna bother with that. I'm just mixing up some more turquoise right now with my, um, I use the phalo and the titanium white and the yellow, the primary yellow, just because I didn't have enough and I want this to be thick enough. And you really want this color to be pretty consistent. You don't want um, it not mixed all the way. So I'm just going to mix that in to the water and I'm gonna keep putting more paint in there until I get it the consistency I want. This is why you want the paint in first and not the water because if you do it the other way around, it's just not going to work. And now I'm gonna mix the I want to use both of these turquoises. I know that seems a little weird, but I think that it will give the painting more, um, more, what am I trying to say? More depth with the different tones instead of just having the one tone. And see how much grayer this one is than that one. I really like using the phalo because this had a red undertone and that's exactly what I was talking about with using the ultramarine. So cobalt blue isn't the best thing to use either because that really has a, um, a red undertone as well. Okay, so now we're just gonna add a tiny bit of water so it's not nearly as liquidy as the other one. And then you're just going to Mix that until you get the consistency you want. That noise is driving me insane. <laughs> I'm gonna move to the brush here instead because um, it'll mix better that way. And you want this very smooth. You don't want it chunky. Um, See so like this isn't kind of flowing off of the thing. So that tells me that I'm probably gonna wanna put more water in it. Because the point of this is to have it so it will move around the canvas. And I can always add, um, I do have something I can add to this. It's a, gla a glazing medium that I think would be good for the consistency of it, but I kind of wanted to just keep it the water to show you that you don't have to put a bunch of money into this to, oops, I just split, oh well, that's all right, to make this work. Um, so now I can go straight from the tube into this. Okay, 
So we're going to take our primary yellow and a bit of water. Almost poured coffee in there, that would have been bad. Just a tiny bit and just keep adding it. Well, that was too much already. <laughs> and just keep, and I'm going to get a new brush because I did not like using that, uh, whatever that thing was to do this. Sorry, I'm doing this on my disgusting palette, but I don't know why I have it propped up on there. I just do. Okay, and you're just going to mix this until you get the right consistency and there's no lumps. It's kind of like baking. Um, baking, you really need the, well, I would say cooking more than baking because baking, you need just the right measurements. This, well, I guess, yeah, it probably is like baking. You need just the right consistency for it to work. Like this one, I think it's probably not gonna, it does need more water. I don't want all those bubbles in it either, so you want to be careful when you're mixing that, I think. It's not really... I don't think it's runny enough. Because if I can't even get it to drip out of the cup, how am I going to get it to run onto the canvas? And you can add, um, if you want to get like those cells, I don't really want that look. If it happens, it happens. But I really just want these colors to look more like kind of like watercolor than like a traditional pore painting. Um, I just kind of want the colors to sort of flow together. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my, um, my other cup right here. And I know... Um, a lot of people mix white in between the colors to keep them separate, just so I don't think they, they muddy. Uh, I don't really think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna give it a shot with just like pouring it in there. So hopefully this will work. I'm going to start with my super runny color. I feel like I just gotta add something more paint in there. It's gonna drive me crazy because I feel like it's way too runny of the color that I wanted. So you're just gonna dump this in like little layers. So you start with that one and then just try not to like make it mix too much because the point is to have it mix onto the, see, onto the palette and not onto the, or onto the canvas and not in the cup. Can you stop? Eli, you're gonna mess this up. Don't start playing that, please. Oh, kind of mixed inside of here. Oh, well, that's all right. And keep going. I think that's the problem with using the... Um, not using the flow mediums. Okay, so we have that all mixed up in there. Didn't really mix like how I was thinking it would. Um, I'll probably have to do another round of that, but I'm not going to tape that. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you sort of how to do that. Um, so here's our canvas. And so what you do is you just dump this upside down. And you just flip this upside down. So here we go.